Welcome everyone. It is officially March, which is crazy. We just got back from a trip to New Orleans, so we had two trips in February. There was gonna be a vlog from New Orleans, but unfortunately I got very sick while we were there. Um, just got a really bad cold. We stayed in the most amazing hotel. I believe it used to be like a boarding school or a convent or something like that and they repurposed the whole building into a hotel. Highly recommend going to the Peter and Paul Hotel if you're ever in New Orleans. It was so amazing. All right, so now I really need to get to work because today I've dedicated just to cleaning my house because it's a total disaster. I have suitcases that need to be unpacked. When I was in Hawaii, I went on a hike and my tennis shoes got really muddy, so I'm gonna try to clean them. Also, randomly, our freezer was like left open a small crack while we were gone. It was too full and it kind of like popped itself open. So now the inside is just like full of frozen water, like condensation all over everything and I really need to clean that up. And last thing I'm gonna try to do is clean the garbage disposal because I keep seeing this hack about um, putting ice in the garbage disposal and then like turning it on and then all of the like dirt comes up into the sink and it looks insane. And then after this, I also decided I was going to start my cilantro herb kit and I wanted to clean the shower grout and also my makeup brushes. So let's get started. I hope you guys are ready for some good cleaning up time lapses because that is what is about to happen. You're shining bright when the night is falling You make it easier to breathe And though I find it hard to live in the moment You show me what I've been missing Cause even when I'm up all night Trying to fix my vibe Chasing everything except what I need You tell me it'll be alright Just take a look outside Now I'm gonna go do my shopping at Target and go pick up like a few cleaning supplies and then I think I'll probably get to work on my tennis shoes. Okay, I am back and it's time to tackle the shoes. So they could be worse, but they're not that great. First thing I'm gonna do is remove the shoelaces and I'm gonna soak those in like a water bleach mixture. So I saw a lot of different things about how to clean tennis shoes. My favorite one was mixing hydrogen peroxide and baking soda and like making it into a paste. Almost there, but not quite. This is kind of the texture I was going for. First impressions on this method are that it seems to be getting the, the white leather parts clean pretty well, but the, the rubber part of the shoe is not coming clean as easily. Okay, so it is the next day. Um, update on the tennis shoes. Daniel got home right as I was uh, cleaning them. He took them and he started cleaning away at them with this, which is a lot more like sturdy than a toothbrush. And he used Tide, just Tide and hot water. And that seemed to be working a lot better than what I was using for some reason. So here they are now. He got them very, very clean. I think the only thing that didn't get like totally clean was this. Here is like, it's kind of like a suede and it's still kind of stained a little bit green. The leather came very, very clean and white and so did the rubber sole. So I'm, I'm happy with it. I still have the shoelaces soaking in uh, some Tide and bleach and I'll get to those later. Next 
next thing we're going to be tackling is the garbage disposal. Okay, so we're going to start by shoving the garbage disposal full of ice. That's just about it. I'm going to add some baking soda. Okay, now I'm going to add some vinegar down there. And then it will be time to see what happens. Well, that was a truly terrifying noise. It looks really clean in there. It did not like uh, bubble up and look like a horrifying sewer monster. It doesn't actually need to do that to get clean. It just all went down the drain. I'm gonna finish by cleaning the rest of the sink because it's also pretty gross. Okay, next up is going to be the freezer, which has all this like condensation on the inside. And it's also very dirty, so. Oh. If you're wondering what happened here, I had like a bag of frozen berries that got unfrozen when the freezer was left. It's a little bit open. with that it is so nice to have the freezer clean next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this hydroponic grow kit I found this at the grocery store a couple months ago and I wanted to wait until spring to plant it I have lots of plants around my house but I've never grown something just from seeds and I've also never grown anything to actually eat, any herbs or anything like that. So this is gonna be the first time for me. It's very neat, it comes in this little jar and it comes with seeds, fertilizer, activated carbon. I don't know what that is for, really. Uh, cocoa, which is like a fiber that's gonna be like sprinkled on top or something like that. And then this is where like the seeds are gonna go and like it's gonna grow out of this little thing. I believe these rocks is what I'm supposed to use as like the soil to go in here. Now it's empty and then the glass jar is just for water basically. So you put this in the top of here like that and then the strings right here go into the water. They soak up the water and then they basically water the plant while it's sitting there growing. I really hope this works out. I really hope I don't just immediately like kill it. I wish I could give you an update in this video, but you're gonna have to follow me on Instagram to see if it actually works and sprouts because it's gonna take, let me see, what did it say? Seeds will sprout in five to 18 days. So uh, you're gonna have to follow me on Instagram for updates on that. Okay, says two cups of water into the jar. Take the net pot and pull the wick loop up so that it's half an inch below the top of the net pot. So I pulled the string up into the net pot so it can like evenly distribute the water. Okay, pour the grow medium into the net pot through and around the wick. Oh, that's dusty. Okay, that is what that is looking like. Now it says to run warm water over the grow medium for 30 seconds. So let's go do that. Uh, 
All right, I put the net pot in the jar. Place the cocoa disc on top of the grow medium and sprinkle with water until disc fully expanded. Gently spread the cocoa on top of the grow medium and pour the carbon evenly over the cocoa. So here's the cocoa disc. Okay, so this part is gonna be kind of cool cause it's gonna like expand and break apart. So here we go. I don't know if you can see that, but it is working. Oh, wow. It's kind of amazing. It's getting more disgusting by the second. This is, this is very weird looking. Oh my gosh. Wow. So that was very interesting. Okay. Gently spread the cocoa on top of the grow medium. Yeah, it looks like it's fully expanded. So I'm gonna just spread it evenly on top. So that tiny little disc expanded and I just kind of spread it all around on top and it has perfectly filled the top because they have all the details perfect on this. Pour the carbon evenly over the cocoa. All right, so here's the carbon. I was supposed to put the jar ring on here already. Okay, in you go. Um, sprinkle on seeds and push them just below the surface of the cocoa. Precious seeds right here. Do you see how few seeds there are? There's very little. All right, let's do this. Okay, well, I hope I did that right. Okay, so apparently this plant fertilizer is for later. I'm supposed to just put this in a sunny window, wait for there to be sprouts. Once the sprouts come up, then I add this into the jar, into the water that's like in the jar. Uh, so now I'm gonna go put it in a window and then we'll just have to wait. I really hope this is a good spot. I honestly don't know, but this is a west facing window. So if you know about plants, please tell me if I'm going to just like scorch them. Uh, that's it for that. Please grow. Okay, I'm back. It is time for the next section of this video, which is going to be cleaning the grout in the shower. So as you can see, especially along the bottom there, it has just gotten really dirty. It's just very stained in the grout. So I'm gonna be using this stuff, which I, someone on TikTok said it works really well. So we'll see if it works. A little bit is on there. Let's see if this does anything. It says wait three minutes. So I guess I have to let it actually like penetrate. Okay, it's been three minutes. Let's see if this is doing anything at all. Okay, I'll, I'll return later. This is taking forever. Okay, this grout cleaner has been sitting for a while. So let's see if this is an improvement at all. I don't know if I'm seeing a difference. Oh, this one section is actually clean. This one tiny little section right here. Okay, after about a thousand years of scrubbing, it's like pretty close to clean. The grout is still looking not, I mean, it's better, but it's not totally clean. Up there is a lot cleaner. I'm like moderately happy with the results. Last spring cleaning thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean my makeup brush. Okay, you're gonna need pretty much like equal parts, hot water, and then vinegar, and then dish soap. Then you just put the brush in and you mix it up. Back to being all white again. And you just need to rinse this clean in the sink. 
till all the soap and vinegar and everything is out. All good. Okay, final item of spring cleaning is I am going to fill out my planner for the month of March. Wow, I have really missed out on filling this thing out for a while now. So this planner is really cool. It has a February review to see like what you actually accomplished, how you felt about the month. And then there's a page for March goals. So you can decide exactly what you want to do. And then for the month, there's like a habit tracker and a gratitude tracker that you're supposed to fill out continuously throughout the month. I'm gonna start by filling out the February review and then do the March goals. All right guys, that is it for this spring cleaning session. I hope maybe it inspired you to clean up your space a little bit. Also, highly recommend like keeping a planner like this. The fact that it really makes me like rewind and remember what I did during the month, what I accomplished, what I wanted to do that I didn't do, what I need to move to next month. Uh, all that is really helping me to actually stay on track with my goals because you know, we all set goals at the beginning of the year and then we like never check in again to see how we're progressing. So I really like that this is making me check in again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.